Let's talk about elbow. We uh, injected an elbow today in a, in a professional tennis player. And I want to get to that and show you. So let's first talk about lateral elbow. Remember the, the superficial 50% of this ridge at the epicondyle is going to be the common extensor tendon origin. The 50% that's closest to the joint will be more of the radial collateral ligament. This is our typical clinical setup. And again, most of the time I'm using platelet-rich plasma. We don't really have the, the data to use bone marrow concentrate over PRP, uh, whether we're using you know, single injection or multi-injection protocol. For me, this happens to be a location where I'm doing two or three injections because the data tends to support that. Um, but just know that, that you can make some arguments on the on, uh, on number of injections uh, in this location. The epicondyle, here's the joint. This is radial head. This ends up being a pretty superficial injection. So this is another injection where I really like to have the needle. And it doesn't have to be a spinal needle, but I like to have the needle off the syringe just for flexibility. This is the needle coming down. And here we're deep injecting the radial collateral ligament. And then we'll back up and inject the the uh, extensor origin in just a minute. But you can see as we inject it, if there's more destruction than we appreciated, it, it'll actually start to dissect out all the areas where there's tendinopathy. And here we are going a little bit more superficial to make sure we're getting that extensor origin here as well. And so it's a, just a bread and butter procedure for a sports medicine clinician who's uh, doing these sorts of regenerative injections. And, and something that's easy to teach, easy to practice,